what's up? It's your boy Cursino. And let's get into it. Let's talk about Meek Mill. Everybody's favorite subject right now. But let's look deeper into Meek Mill. You know, Game stated that he was a snitch. And most of us is like, nah, I couldn't see Game. I mean, Meek snitching on somebody. Meek ain't that tight that'll snitch on somebody. So I said, well, now that I think about it, let me go through the homie's path and do my investigation. And let's determine if Meek Mill is predominantly a snitch. Now, when Meek was a young dude in high school, shooting hoops, you know, he wanted to run with his little crew that was in the neighborhood, stand with his grandma and everything. And they were called the Blood Hounds. That's their little crew name. They had their little funny handshake. And they was crew. They used to make their little rap tapes, giggle and laugh, get high, and hang out. Nothing real serious. Then, want to get knocked for something, they'll take the fall. They wouldn't ride on the next man. They start going to a life of crime, doing a little small thing. Me gets caught in high school, which got him suspended for smoking weed. Everybody break, and they caught Meek for it. And Meek is like, why y'all ain't get everybody else? Why y'all just get me? He ain't say it was just me. He wonder why they didn't get everybody else. They was like, well, who all was there? Y'all know who was there. And y'all just grabbed me. So, eventually, Meek goes back with his crew. And then they grab all of them and told them they all were suspended. But my thing is, why didn't he take the fall? To me, that's actions of a snitch. Needless to say, almost all the bloodhounds right now are locked up. Meek on the streets. Hmm. Oh, okay. Meek's 18 years old. He's running around, slanging for his family, doing his thing. And at 10 years old, he walking around outside. He's strapped, showing everybody the pistol. Yeah, man, I got my pistol now. I got my little bags or whatever. And he wasn't even serving. He outside with like a half a blunt. With a pistol on him. And the cops see him. Because he, he's showing the pistol. He's putting it back in his shirt. And the pistol's showing. So they he gets busted basically right outside of his house. That's how stupid he is. He's not even looking for the police. So he goes in there. And they slam him. You going down. So he, oh man. So he served his little time while he was in there. Next thing you know, they give him house arrest. He get a really light deal by it being his first major crime. First major crime. He gets a little jail time and then he gets house arrest. Right? During that time, he's doing, um, they give him permission to travel. 
do shows and stuff. Now, as he's doing these shows, mysteriously enough, his uh, family member or or buddy goes away for ten years to the feds. After they bring Meek Mill in, just bring him in for stat what they call status report, which mostly mean we cut you free so you could travel. Now we bringing you in to see whatever you got to drop. You drop dirty. You better give us something. What you got? What you got? Come on, man. Who doing what? That's what status report is. They want a status report. And mysteriously enough, your buddy, our Joe crew, end up having to do 10 years. 10 in the feds. I ain't saying he told, but tell me something. A silence alone get you 20 something. That's all I'm saying. So, that's just a mysterious thing that happened. Then on the mixtape, there's a song he got out where he's talking about my cousin killed the dude and just came home for a murder. You know, and I can get him to go kill everybody if I need to. And it caused some friction with people back in Philly because they like, dude, your family, your cousin ain't happy with you. He ready to choke and kill you because he out here trying to fight a case. He, he pleaded not guilty. He's fighting that. And you talking about he murdered a dude. You don't do that. Now, y'all make up y'all own mind. Is this coincidence? That all these things keep happening around him? Then, let's move along. Into the rap game. He's hanging out with Tiger, Drake, Wayne. Tiger brought him in really into the fold. And it was like, yo, this adopted young money right here, Meek Mill. They bring him into the fold. Right? Next thing you know, um, Tiger and Meek are hanging out at the club, doing what they do. And Meek is just sitting there feeding information and trying to hit up his girl, Black China. Trying to see what's up with him and how they doing. And seeing what's up with her. Is she single? How is stuff going with her and Tiger? Because he's trying to get his girl. So, she saves all these messages. And then Tiger saw it. He wasn't too happy. She got a little shiner for it. Because she shouldn't have gave the dude the number in the first place. And they did a song that Versace freestyled together. Where they sound like they was trying to kill each other on the song. But he going to send her pictures of his privates. While telling Tiger's business to his girl about him messing around with other chicks and everything who does that a snitch so after that blow over Meek Mill once again gets brought in by the PO harassing him before a show because he got to check in for a status report. What's going on out there on the streets, mate? Oh, I'm out here in the entertainment world. You got to give us something. 
We keeping you all out there, man, so you can give us something. You don't want to go in, do you? Come on, Nick. You, you know something. You know anybody doing stuff over there? I mean, anybody that you knew in the past? Give us a name. I know a couple of cats doing a little something over there in D.C. and stuff. But I ain't snitching on nobody from Philly. <laughs> so, that's just a reenactment. But, mysteriously enough, his connect over there eventually gets raided and knocked in a drug bus. Mysteriously. Very strange. Then we have the famous incident where he is now MMG rolling around with Boss. Ricky Ross, the man he owes everything to, all of his success, all of his failures, everything. Right? Then, he goes ahead and disses Drake, and he gets mad, because Rick Ross didn't come out and basically get in the middle of it when it was going on. He was trying to keep the peace so that everybody eventually start working together. So, Meek felt like, I'm on my own, F everybody. I don't need nobody, it's just me. I can stand up to Drake and how Rick Ross basically played the wall through the whole situation. Because he was cool with Drake and me and with the Wale. He took up for Wale and was like, yeah, I'm going to talk to me because he tripping. So he was like feeling a certain way. So he leaked the photos of him with Rick Ross' girl. Nobody knows that Meek them leaked that photo. They been leaked that photo out. And he was trying to throw a shot at Drake. Like, yeah, I had her and she told me this and she had me that. But he knew she was with Rick Ross too. And he never told Ross. Ross is out here whining and dying this girl. You MMG. And you didn't even tell Ross you was smashing that. Like, man, look. We, we, you know, I smashed that, you know, back in the day. You know, didn't even give him a heads up. You let him put a ring on it. We get married. Yeah. Wing stops. <laughs> Gravy sauce. Oh. Get a new made back. Woo! <laughs> so... Once the picture show up on Bossip, they didn't put Drake with her. They put Rick Ross with her because he's proposed to her. So now you got Meek with the chick and then you got Ross with the chick. So Ross snaps on old girl like, why you ain't tell me you been with me? She was like, I thought you already knew because he your crew. And Meek was like, man, I'm still shot said Drake. Man, I'm making fun of him. Man, that's an old picture, man. I mean... I don't even know who put that up, where it come from, man. That's some old stuff, man. I didn't remember that, but... Yeah, I mean, but that was back in the days, man. Nobody gonna care about that. <laughs> like, man, you stupid. Read the internet. It's all over the place. I can't be with her. It's ruining my name. You should have told me. My bad. <laughs> but he didn't care. He the one leaked it. His team leaked it. He petty like that. He leaked it out to the press. Snitch. Oh yeah. Now let's continue on. He chilling with Safari the whole time, right? He chilling with Safari. Kicking it with him, trying to get close to Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Always like, man, you know, I always had a crush on Nikki and all this stuff and laughing, but he cool with Safari, so 
Safari, so like, he used to do, like, lusting after Nikki, but he wasn't, Meek wasn't, like, drooling all over her type. He was just, like, hat crushing, but he was respectful. He kept his distance and mess, got close to Safari, you know, so got close enough to where they was out kicking it, and he knew Safari's business on the side. And then, lo and behold, he snitches to Nicki Minaj. And she ended up rolling with me. They broke up. And Safari's the one that dumped her. She still wanted to keep Safari. After me, like, you gonna stay with him? After what he just did? But she had cheated too. But he was like, you know what? Forget it. It's over. So he broke up with her. So she didn't just choose Meek. Meek was there in the option. So she made it uh, put a spin on it because he was leaving her. Then she jumped up to Meek. Like, well, okay, well, I need to rebound with something. But she wouldn't even claim Meek for a while. She wanted to see how the internet and people respond to it first before she would even claim it. But that's snitch. Then that brings us up to speed, right? Where we at currently? Sean Kingston get jumped in the club. He calls game. Said I got robbed. And says Meek Mill told me y'all the ones that did it. Knowing after all the track record we just laid prior, it's kind of hard to see Meek Mill not going to Sean Kingston's ass up. All he had to say was, man, I don't know what happened here. I'm, it's not even my town. Sorry that happened to you, though. And kept it moving. That's all he had to do. But no, he didn't do that. He did something else. Now, Meek is playing games. Meek has never denied not saying he told Sean Kingston. You see that? Have you noticed that? He's never denied that. He's always denied. Like, man, I ain't go to no cops. And rat on nobody than the cops. See, that's what he was looking at. Like, no, I didn't talk to the cops. I ain't tell the cops nothing. But you told Sean Kingston. You see, but he ain't answering that. He keep talking about the cops. Because he know he told Sean Kingston. Which made it a problem. Sean Kingston such a stupid lame. He just ran back and ran his mouth. Yeah, Meek told me. So, you look at that situation. Snatch. See, this is why if I made a diss song on Meek Mill, it would be over. Completely. Completely over. I have way too much material. Too much material. It's, it wouldn't even be fair. I would have family members, everybody outside my house. They'd be trying to burn it down with me in it. That's how bad it would be brutal. But, do we just stay on target? Look at the facts. We just investigated it all. Lay it out to y'all. Y'all make y'all choice up. Does it sound? Y'all the jury. Y'all put guilty in the in the box down there or innocent. So when he said meat snitch based on his track record, it sounded like he did. Not to the cops, but to Sean Kingston. And, 
And instead of owning it, he's he's talking indirect. And he thinks he's fooling people. But I'm a I'm a shot town dude, man. We pick up on that. Well we should, but the majority of us, the older guys, we pick up on that right away. We used to people being cornered and gotta say, man, what happened? And then they telling you half truths. But they ain't telling you the, the the whole story. They ain't telling you what's real. So in this instance, I would have to say, you know, he's guilty. Then he puts up a video of Puffy showing him on FaceTime and talking about look at the game's reaction. Why why the, what does game reaction has to do but with you? This dude is too super sensitive like a female sometimes. You know, and I, I, I don't know if that comes from, you know, losing your parents that early. Because he lost his parents before he was even, I think, five. He had lost his mother and father. So, you know, I don't wish that on any human being. That's tragic. To lose both of your parents like that. And not having somebody there to teach him. And check his, you know, tantrums and stuff like that. He just had his grandma and nobody really to put him in check and say, this is how to be a man. He probably never had that. You know, he probably listened to a couple of old school cats and just ran out and did what he wanted to do. There was nobody there to really check the aggression. And check and say, look, this is what you need to do as a man. And this is how it should be done. Men don't care what other guys' are, expressions are about they fall. What was he supposed to be looking like? He's supposed to be smiling? Because you you on a FaceTime? Why would you even be looking for stuff like that? People are like, man, you see how he frowned up at me, real? Like, what was he supposed to do? Blow him a kiss and be happy? The hell he he could care less <laughs> about me Mill being on the on the phone. He's not a fan. <laughs> He's an artist. That's all he is. So What's it to him? And that's really just the gist of it, man. So, like I said, put it guilty or innocent in the description box. Well, in the comment section, rather. Let me know if you think this man is a snitch or he's not. Simple as that. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Philly, stand up!